I'd, uh, I'd Ola, I guess, his return to play, how's that going? Okay, so you know, okay, you know, we'll see. Um, but he's feeling better. He's feeling better and working and uh, kind of see how he responds from today's work and what we did, and then we'll uh, make a decision tomorrow. With more and more teams now starting to incorporate some of the RPO stuff, and the Eagles being one of those that do it quite a bit, is it made it a little easier to prepare for it just because of that scheme, just because it's not as unusual as it was, say, eight, ten years ago? Um, you know, I mean, I think that that's you know, what they do, and they have that ele those elements in there, and, you know, they've expanded in what they do and try to do things to keep from the linemen being downfield. Um, and I don't know, it, it, it's, it's difficult each and every week to prepare for the scheme, and, um, you know, I think some of your rules just have to change a little bit, and everybody has to have a responsibility, and then you know, how you manipulate the coverage. How much did the, I know Sue's only played a couple of games for him, but how much of an impact have you seen him make even in that short of time? Uh, he's mixed in there a little bit. You know, I think he's just kind of getting, getting, um, you know, comfortable with some of the calls and what he's done. I mean, obviously he's a, been a successful player in this league and is, is a disruptive player, so. Uh, Certainly adds to the strength of their football team. Was Ben able to pass the concussion protocol? Yeah, Ben. Ben has passed through. Yeah, the protocol. When you're going into a, a tough environment like that, like how critical is it to you know get that that good start for you guys? And and also, what's your uh, most unique memory from playing in in, in Philadelphia in front of those fans? Well, you know the, the road environment is great. You know we got away from it, uh, obviously with COVID. You know, and so you're playing on some of those road games, and you know, so it forces you to, to improve communication. Uh, but the most important thing is execution. You know, that you start uh, early. You know, they, they've done a fantastic job of getting up early in football games. They've really you know, outscoring people almost two to one in the first half. Um, you know, and then Philly. I, you know, I mean, hell, I played in the vet. You know, I played in the vet and uh, played in that, and then obviously the. You know, the, is it still Lincoln Financial? Yeah, that's what it is. I, I don't remember. I mean, they all run together. A Bullock's week, Goo. Okay. Good. Yeah. Sorry. Feeling better? You guys make a decision on that tomorrow, too. I guess go with, uh, go with just one. Um, make a decision on? On going with just one kicker, I, I guess, uh, as opposed to two on the roster. Well, we'll see where we go tomorrow. Um, you know, make sure everybody comes in and you know, figure out a way to, you know, we're, the roster's at 53 right now. Once we make changes on that, you know, we'll let you guys know. And I know uh, you've been complimentary of, of Aaron stepping in for Ben, but how good is it to kind of get your start center back and how much does he help settle? Well, he means a lot yeah. to the football team and uh, his ability to make calls and settle everybody down and, you know, his performance and so. You know, it's, it's good. We, we need everybody that we can we can get, and Ben's certainly a, a leader in such a large part of our football team. Not just on the offense. I mean, he's he's into the games, and, and he knows what's going on. He's a you know, he knows how what the game plan is and what the keys are in all three phases. Kind of hurts is such a big part of their running game. But kind of what do you see from Miles Sanders to get that he keeps getting open so much? Going so well, they you know they, they've got a, you know their, their strength is this football team is up front. You know they've got good skill players, but. Offensively, they, they played with the same unit at pretty much most of the season. Uh, so, Kelsey and you know the size that they have, you know, he kind of is the, the quickness and, and communicates everybody and gets all a lot of these plays started. And so it, it'll be a huge challenge to to do that. Sanders has been a very talented player since coming out. Fumbled in college. Uh, I think he fought some of that early on in his career. Hasn't had an issue this year, um, and therefore now his production or injuries is costing not. When he's in there, he's he's a good back. He's a, he's a very good back. He can run all any scheme, you know, zone scheme, wide zone, stretch, cut. Um, you know whether he has to jump cut and, and burst, and so he's it's, it's, uh, it's a good back. Out this week. Autry, Hollister, Molden. You want to be out there with your friends and their family to me, and it hurt not being out there with us, but it definitely it shook me up, but I'm happy to be back with the fa my family now and ready to be out there and play. You had very many costumes before? 
Yeah. I've, uh, what'd you say? Have you had very many concussions before? I've had them. Um, so you got, you know, everyone's different. You got to deal with them. Um, your body tells you when you're ready. You can't rush those because. Yeah, that's your livelihood, and you got a family at home. You can't push through those things. Have you played for a lot of coaches? I mean, is Rabel as patient with concussions as anybody you've been around as far as – just like in the past, he's always told guys you're not playing. Right. Um, he is extremely – I'm extremely grateful to have a guy like that. He's in your corner. He knows we want to be out there, and he's looking for your best interest because um, you want to be out there. You want to be out there no matter what, and he understands this process. He knows – Hey, hey, your body's not ready yet, and he knows he don't want to put you in a bad situation. It sounded, maybe, from from a distance anyway, it sounded as if maybe you were getting close last week, and then did just not. Just yeah, um, it's a process. Um, I wasn't where I needed to be to play, and and we knew it, it wasn't the right time, and that's that's what's hard. It was so close, and you're right there at the end of it, and it just wasn't the right. I wasn't able to clear. Especially, I was just gonna say, especially for a guy like you who is like almost never missed a game. Yeah. I mean, how, how tough is not only one, but yeah, it's, it's, it teaches me patience. Um, I know um, I've been in my word. I'm sitting there with Mitch, our chaplain, and hey, that's my thing. I'm not patient. I'm always try to be available for everything, and I want to be there. And sometimes you get humbled in that way, and some things you can't push through. Some injuries you're able to, but some you you got to sit back and let the good Lord heal you. How, uh, how important is it to kind of restore what you guys have been doing in the run game? Uh, starting Sunday and maybe right. just moving forward. Yeah, we got to start fast. Um, we got to get ahead in the sticks and where we want to be on third down, we want to play third down on our on our terms. Um, you know they got a good front, um, so we got a challenge there, but we want to start fast and play on our terms.